hi and welcome to show us classes today we are going to deal with some very important and difficult questions on mathematical statistics you can call or whatsapp at the number given on the screen or in the description below for any doubts or videos related to our courses let's dive into our first sum now we are given that let d be the triangle bounded by the y axis the line 2y equals to pi and the line y equals to x we to find the value of the in integral given out here i'll draw, draw the diagram so that it becomes easy for you the adjoining figure is what we will obtain now let's find the value of the integral given to us cos y by y dx dy equals to integration y equals to 0 to pi by 2 integration of x equals to 0 y cos y by y dx dy this comes to be integration of 0 to pi by 2 cos y dy which equals to sin y from 0 to pi by 2 which equals to 1 thus number b is the answer we go on to another question over here we are given that x is a random sample of size 1 from u theta to theta plus 1 distribution and theta belongs to r we need to test that h not is such that theta equals to 1 against the alternative hypothesis h1 theta equals to 2 the critical region given to us is x such that x is greater than 1 now we need to verify which of the four is correct h not is true if u belonging to 1, 2 therefore fx equals to 1 when x belongs to between 1 and 2 including 1 and 2 and 0 otherwise now we find the value of alpha alpha equals to p x belonging to w says that h not is true this equals to p x greater than 1 and this equals to 1 now for h1 to be true u should be between 2 comma 3 that is fx equals to 1 0 when x is greater than or equals to 2 and less than or equals to 3 and 0 otherwise thus therefore beta equals to probability x belongs to w such that h1 is true thus probability x less than 1 equals to 0 thus power equals to 1 minus b or beta equals to 1 and size equals to a or alpha which is equals to 1 moving on to the next question now in the next question we have let x1 x2 dot 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 xn b i i d b belongs to 1 comma theta random variables and theta lies between 0 and 1 then as an estimate of theta t such that x1 to x0 xn equals to summation 1 to n x1 xi plus root n by 2 by n plus root n now we need to check which of the four condition given to us is true let's do it in a clear screen 
t x1 x2 dot 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 xn equals summation xi where i 1 to n plus root n by 2 divided by n plus root n this equals to 1 by n summation xi i ranging from 1 to n plus 1 by 2 root n whole divided by 1 plus 1 by root n t equals to x bar plus 1 by 2 root n whole divided by 1 plus 1 by root n thus estimator t equals to e x bar plus one by two root n whole divided by one plus one by root n and this in turn equals one by one plus one by root n into one by theta plus one plus one by 2 root n this is not equals to theta so t is not an unbiased estimator further limit h tends to infinity estimator t equals to limit h tends to infinity 1 by 1 plus 1 by root n into 1 by theta plus 1 plus 1 by 2 root n equals to 1 by theta plus 1 so t is consistent estimator of 1 by theta plus 1 and not q so it is not a consistent estimator Moving on to a different question. X1, X2, X3, BIID, where n ranges from 0 to theta square random variables. It is given theta is greater than 0. Then the value of k for which the estimator is an unbiased estimator of theta is among the four options. Let's see how to do this. Thus, expectation xi equals to minus infinity to infinity mod of xi into probability x equals to xi dxi this equals to from 0 to infinity x by into 1 by root over 2 pi theta e to power minus x square by 2 theta square dx which is equals to 1 let's say therefore let x square by 2 theta square equals to y thus 2x by 2 theta square equals to dx equals to dy or x by theta square dx equals to dy therefore i equals to 2 0 to infinity theta by root 2 pi e to power minus y dy this in turn equals 2 theta by root 2 pi which equals to root over 2 by pi theta 
so expectation t equals to k into expectation summation mod of xi i ranging from 1 to 3 gives us 3k into root 2 pi root 2 by pi theta which equals to k root over 2 by 9 pi theta so the value for k which is which in which t is unbiased estimate is root 9 pi by 2 that is option b in our question with this we come to an end of another amazing video please like subscribe and contact us for full course videos or doubts regarding any questions you can press the notification button so that you are notified whenever we upload a new amazing video just to help you thank you and stay tuned for more such videos